teaching the new cooks how to dice an onion. You hear the difference? I can hear the difference. Here it's not like beating it down. When I go this way, see how it doesn't rip the onion apart? Yeah. And when I go this way, see how much cleaner it is? Yeah. Right? Look at that dice, night and day. I'm not destroying the onion. I sharpen your knife with three minutes of time on a whetstone. So what I want you to do is try that knife and tell me the difference. And we'll move this to the side. Feel the difference? Big difference. Now that's a 10 times better dice, but you got all that left over. So where'd you go wrong in your dice? Uh, probably didn't cut on the angle correct. Here's what I saw. You were all over the place with that dice. Okay? So where, what, you, what I want you doing, you're right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Right-handed, okay. So your left hip, I want on the cutting board. Right? I naturally stand straight, my hand goes that way. But if I turn my opposite hip, the knife is now straight, which means I'm going to have a straight cut. So that's the first step. Then you're going to take, you're going to start here, keep your thumb tucked, keep your, your fingers in, and I'm going to pull back towards me. See how it's just a clean slice? Yeah. I'm pulling that all the way down so the tip of the knife touches right before the root so it stays intact. All the way down. And you see how they're even cuts? And I'm just inching my fingers back all the way down. So when I turn it this way, I can come at it, keep my hand flat above it, cut all the way down to that root. So when I go to slice it, now I'm slicing four. See how I changed my direction of the knife? Yeah. So now I've got a much cleaner knife. Now I can lay it flat because it gets too close to my fingers and finish off those last couple pieces. Cool.